Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm and today we're going to look at some of the seeds that you can sow in August. The good news is it's not too late to sow seeds now as to still be able to get a harvest this year. And here's some of the things that I'm planting right now. So this morning I cleared the area where the peas had been and cleared a lot of weeds away and then I used my rake to create a wide strip and then I've sown Nancy's carrots. I've broad sown them so I've uh, sprinkled them right across rather than in straight lines and hopefully uh, we shall get a nice carrot crop before the end of the year. Carrot seeds don't germinate well if they dry out. So I'm going to give them a good water and then pop some green netting over the top of them actually lying it on the ground to try and reduce the evaporation over the next few days while the seeds start germinating. This piece of netting is far from perfect out of choice. I would have really nice wide boards down there but I don't have any uh, and I can reuse this time and time again so that's what I'm doing. You can also sow lettuce choose a non-hearting variety of lettuce so uh, something with a loose leaf like an oak leaf uh, or a lola rosso these are ready to go in the ground now but I'm going to sow some more uh, for succession harvesting of them and I'm also going to sow some uh, chard um, this one's a five colour chard I really <laughs> I really like chard as baby leaves in a salad. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the leaves as they get bigger, but I do really like the stems, so I cut the leaf off, <laughs> give that to the birds. <laughs> and then I use the stems uh, roasted, uh, which I really like. So, you know, in the oven, roasted with a bit of garlic and salt and pepper. Mm -mm, love them. But uh, <laughs> they can go in now. I'm gonna start some seeds off in the polytunnel, um, but, when I came in, uh, I have noticed that we have visitors, and not just visitors, we've got invaders. And they're munching their way through vast quantities of kale in here. So first thing I need to do is get the kale out. I'm not gonna get rid of these caterpillars. Uh, I'm gonna take them with me. <laughs> They can have the kale, but they can have it on the compost heap. It's surprising how much damage they can do uh, in such a short space of time. <laughs> Completely stripping leaves, um, <laughs> seemingly overnight. Uh, now, I noticed these yesterday, and I would guess they've been here for a few days. Um, <laughs> because they've got quite big. Uh, <laughs> so they're not tiny caterpillars. They have been here for a few days. I haven't noticed them, but... Uh, more than happy for them to have this kale as long as they have it outside. And it's also the perfect time to start sowing pak choy. Uh, so really good. Uh, this can be sown during uh, August and September. Pak choy is really fast growing uh, so you can be harvesting this um, as a sort of cut and come again um, leaf in about four to five weeks. I'm also going to start sowing spring cabbages. So uh, this one is a variety called winter green. Um, so this will get planted now. It'll get transplanted in September and we'll be harvesting this in April and May during that hungry gap. There are quite a few kales that you can sow now. So I've chosen a really pretty uh, pinky purple one and I'm going to harvest the leaves uh, when they're very young, put them in salads because I think that will add a really nice color uh, to our salad mix. I'm also going to make another sowing uh, of a 60 day broccoli, uh, so a broccoli rab. As yet I haven't had uh, an enormous success with these but I'm going to try again uh, because I'm determined <laughs> that I am going to have some of this broccoli to eat. 
what's happened so far is it's gone in and I haven't watered it enough and it's gone to seed before it's had a chance uh, to develop fully so I'm, it's going to seed at, at sort of three or four inches high. I'm going to give it another go.